What can the size of your testicle tell you? It turns out quite a bit. And while this might sound like the kind of thing most men would rather not talk about, it's a question that speaks directly to your overall hormonal health, fertility potential, and sometimes, even early warning signs of serious disease. Patients, usually between their late 30s and mid-60s, who are quietly concerned about their testicles. Not because something hurts, necessarily, but because something feels off. A bit smaller. A little heavier. Maybe uneven. Or maybe they just notice a change when getting dressed or showering. And yet, most hesitate to bring it up if they mention it at all. That silence can cost you. Because the truth is, your testicles aren't just passive structures. They're hormone factories, sperm production centers, and tightly tuned biological indicators. Their size, shape, and texture can reflect shifts in testosterone, vascular changes, infection, genetic conditions, or even tumors. And while not Every variation means there's a problem. Ignoring clear signs often delays the very medical care that could preserve your health, your fertility, or even your life. Let's talk numbers. Most adult males have testicles that range between 4 to 5 centimeters in length, around 2 to 3.5 centimeters in width, with a typical volume of about 15 to 25 milliliters. That's the average, according to data compiled from multiple ultrasound studies and anatomical reviews. If your testicle volume falls under 14 milliliters or measures consistently smaller than 3 to 4 centimeters, that may indicate underdevelopment or testicular atrophy often a red flag for deeper endocrine or systemic problems. Still, many men ask, what if one testicle is lower or slightly bigger than the other? In most cases, that's completely normal. It's common for one testicle to hang lower due to natural asymmetry in the spermatic cord or surrounding cremasteric muscle tone. Slight differences in volume, within about 15%, are also considered within normal limits. Testicles that gradually shrink over time, especially if accompanied by fatigue, lower libido, or muscle loss, often correlate with low testosterone or a condition called primary hypogonadism. In older men, this may be a natural part of aging, but in younger men, it could stem from an underlying pituitary disorder, a varicocele, or a history of anabolic steroid use. On the other end of the spectrum, when a testicle appears larger than expected, especially if this growth occurs after puberty, that enlargement could reflect a varicocele, which is essentially a tangle of enlarged veins that disrupt heat regulation and sperm quality. Or it could signal fluid accumulation in a hydrocele. Less commonly, testicular tumors, both benign and malignant, can cause enlargement that feels smooth, firm, and often painless. And yes, Testicular cancer is most common in younger men between the ages of 15 and 35, but older men are not immune. Then there are the rarer cases, genetic conditions like Klinefelter syndrome or Fragile X, associated macroorchidism, where testicle size may be unusually small or large as part of a broader systemic pattern. These are not things the average man can diagnose by himself, but they are reasons to be evaluated if there's ever doubt. So, where does this leave us? In short, your testicles are not just hanging bystanders. They're endocrine barometers, tracking testosterone output, sperm production, and vascular health. When things go wrong, the signs can show up right there, often before you feel sick or notice other symptoms. And yet, we still don't talk about it. There's stigma, there's embarrassment, and there's the all too common idea that if it's not painful, it's probably not a problem. But here's the thing, many of the most serious conditions, like early testicular cancer, varicoceles, or hormone imbalances, begin without pain. They begin with slow, subtle changes in size, shape, or weight. And the earlier you catch them, the better the outcome. If there's one thing the internet does well, it's amplify myths. And when it comes to male anatomy, particularly testicle size, there's no shortage of misleading, oversimplified, or flat-out incorrect information circulating online. So, let's separate scientific fact from fiction. First, does testicle size really matter from a medical standpoint? According to a 2012 meta-analysis published in the journal Human Reproduction Update, testicular volume is one of the most reliable non-invasive indicators of male reproductive health. Specifically, researchers found that testicle size strongly correlates with semen quality, particularly sperm concentration, motility, and morphology. In simpler terms, larger testicular volume generally means better sperm production and higher fertility potential. The mechanism behind this is straightforward. Each testicle contains tightly coiled seminiferous tubules, microscopic structures where sperm is produced. The more space these tubules occupy, the higher the sperm output capacity. Testicles also contain Leydig cells, 
which produce testosterone. A reduction in testicular mass often means fewer functioning Leydig cells, translating to lower testosterone levels in circulation. But here's where context matters. Larger testicles aren't automatically better, and smaller ones aren't always cause for alarm. For example, a 2021 study published in the Asian Journal of Andrology examined over 2,000 healthy men and found that while average testicular volume hovered around 18 milliliters, some individuals with volumes closer to 13 or 14 milliliters still maintain normal testosterone and sperm profiles. However, consistent findings across institutions like the Mayo Clinic and Harvard Medical School suggest that volumes under 12 to 14 milliliters may signal testicular underfunction, especially when paired with symptoms like fatigue, low libido, or infertility. You may have also heard that certain habits, like frequent cycling or wearing tight underwear, shrink the testicles. This is another area rife with confusion. The data? Mixed. Chronic exposure to elevated scrotal temperatures can impair sperm production, but it doesn't consistently affect testicular volume unless paired with other stressors, like varicocele or hormonal suppression. A 2016 review in the International Journal of Andrology concluded that while tight clothing may temporarily raise testicular temperature, no direct link to permanent size reduction has been conclusively demonstrated. Finally, it's worth addressing a cultural myth that testicle size directly determines masculinity or sexual performance. That's unequivocally false. Testicle size correlates with sperm production capacity, not sexual function, erectile strength, or libido. These aspects are governed by complex interactions between the brain, specifically the hypothalamus and pituitary, the vascular system, and testosterone levels. Now let's talk aging. As men age, there's a gradual decline in both testicular size and testosterone levels. This isn't necessarily pathological. It's part of a process known as late onset hypogonadism, or what some refer to as andropause. According to a 2010 European male aging study, men experience an average decline of 1% in total testosterone per year after age 30. Testicular volume also tends to decrease by approximately 15 to 20% between the ages of 40 and 70, largely due to declining spermatogenic activity and reduced blood flow. This vascular component is key. Like all organs, the testicles rely on a steady blood supply to function optimally. The pampiniform plexus, a network of veins that regulates temperature and circulation in the scrotum, can become less efficient with age or disease. Poor vascular health, including atherosclerosis or chronic hypertension, may restrict testicular perfusion, leading to atrophy over time. A 2017 study from the Journal of Urology found that men with cardiovascular disease were significantly more likely to present with reduced testicular volume and lower serum testosterone. There's also the neurological angle. The hypothalamic pituitary gonadal, HPG, axis governs testicular function. Signals originate in the brain. Specifically, the hypothalamus releases gonadotropin-releasing hormone, RH, which instructs the pituitary gland to secrete two key hormones, luteinizing hormone, LH, and follicle-stimulating hormone, FSH. LH stimulates testosterone production. FSH supports sperm production. If any part of this chain breaks down due to brain injury, pituitary tumors, or chronic opioid use, testicular function may decline, often reflected in reduced size. This feedback loop is dynamic and sensitive. For example, in cases of primary hypogonadism, where the testicles themselves fail, FSH and LH levels often rise in an attempt to kickstart production. In secondary hypogonadism, where the brain isn't sending the right signals, hormone levels may be low across the board. In both scenarios, testicular atrophy is common and can serve as an early external cue of internal dysfunction. Now, let's explore three lesser known but clinically important downstream effects of testicular shrinkage. One bone health risk. Low testosterone secondary to testicular dysfunction increases the risk of osteoporosis and fractures in men. Testosterone directly stimulates osteoblast activity, cells responsible for bone formation. A 2014 Mayo Clinic Proceedings Review concluded that men with untreated hypogonadism were nearly twice as likely to sustain fragility fractures after age 60. 2. Metabolic dysregulation. Reduced testicular function is linked to insulin resistance, abdominal obesity, and dyslipidemia. This isn't just correlation, it's causation. Testosterone plays a role in muscle metabolism, fat distribution, and glucose handling. The Massachusetts Male Aging Study showed that men with low normal testosterone had significantly higher rates of metabolic syndrome, independent of age and BMI. 3. Mood and Cognitive Impact 
Testosterone receptors are present in brain regions associated with mood, focus, and memory. Clinical data from a 2020 review in psychoneuroendocrinology found that low testosterone is associated with a 1.8x increased risk of depression, even after controlling for lifestyle and medical comorbidities. Men with testicular atrophy may thus experience symptoms like brain fog, irritability, or diminished drive, often without recognizing the root cause. Let's not forget fertility. While sperm production is influenced by several factors, including genetics and environment, Testicular size remains one of the most accessible indicators of spermatogenic potential. Men with testes below 12 milliliters in volume are statistically more likely to have azoospermia, complete absence of sperm, in semen analysis. That said, volume alone can't confirm or rule out fertility. That requires formal semen testing. So what does all of this mean in practical terms? It means that testicular size is not just a matter of anatomy. It's a visible clue to internal biological systems, endocrine function, neurological signaling, vascular health, and reproductive capacity. It's a window into your hormonal and systemic health, especially when tracked over time. Let's talk about the next steps. First, self-awareness is the starting line, not the finish line. Recognizing your baseline, what's normal for your body, is critical. The earlier you identify a shift in size, shape, or texture, the earlier a potential issue can be evaluated. And in men's health, Early detection is often the difference between a minor adjustment and a major intervention. Here are five medically sound, actionable steps every man can take to better monitor and protect his testicular and hormonal health. 1. Perform monthly testicular self-exams. 2. Get a baseline testicular ultrasound if you're unsure. 3. Ask for a hormone panel, not just testosterone. 4. Don't ignore lifestyle-driven atrophy. 5. Establish a long-term relationship with a urologist or men's health specialist. Remember, the goal here isn't to create anxiety, it's to arm you with the same vigilance and preventive approach that we take for other vital organs. Men often delay care until symptoms interfere with daily life. But the testicles, like the heart or liver, respond best to early detection and subtle course correction. To summarize, normal testicle size ranges from 4 to 5 centimeters in length or 15 to 25 milliliters in volume. Variations like one testicle hanging lower or being slightly larger are common. Size alone doesn't tell the whole story, but changes over time can be revealing. Atrophy may point to hormonal imbalance, vascular issues, or lifestyle-driven suppression. Regular self-checks, routine screenings, and professional follow-ups are key to maintaining not just reproductive health, but total body wellness. The testicles are silent messengers. They don't speak, but they signal. And if you learn to read the signals early, you give yourself a significant advantage, one based on knowledge, not fear. So take the time, check in with your body, and when in doubt, consult your physician. That one conversation could change the trajectory of your health. And remember, this video is intended for informational purposes only and does not constitute medical advice. Viewers should consult a qualified healthcare provider for personalized evaluation, diagnosis, or treatment related to any medical condition. Never disregard professional medical advice or delay seeking care because of something seen or heard in this content. If this video challenged something you thought you knew, drop a comment, share your experience, ask your questions, and let us know what myth or topic you want us to tackle next. Subscribe for more science-backed deep dives on men's health.